My name is Dan Miranda. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Biology at Drexel University, and I'm the director of the graduate program. In my laboratory, we study two things. We study the developmental neurobiology of synapse formation, and we also model Alzheimer's disease. Uh, and we utilize the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster for both of these. And because multiple genes involved in synapse formation are also involved in human disease, we wind up making Drosophila models of multiple human diseases as well. We utilize multiple different techniques to study these questions in my laboratory. We visualize the synapses in developing Drosophila, uh, and we also then subject these adult flies to different behavioral assays so we can look at the learning and memory and the motor reflex functions uh, associated with different disease models in our flies. We have three main projects in the laboratory. First is studying uh, a novel function of a basic helix loop helix protein called Daughterless in post-mitotic neuron function. We have the neural progenitor cells with Daughterless we go down, we have a normal daughterless, and we get normal synaptogenesis, normal branching. Uh, the second is based on a drug screen that we performed in a novel model of Alzheimer's disease in Drosophila, uh, hoping to find drugs that are potential therapeutics in the disease. And the third is involved with an epigenetic transcription factor, which is called Kismet. My name is Nina Latchva. I'm a second year graduate student from the Molecular Cell Biology and Genetics program in Dan's lab. In Dan's lab, I work on characterizing the interaction between kismet and steroid hormone receptors. Um, kismet is the Drosophila homologue of CHD7, which is implicated in CHARGE syndrome, which is a developmental disorder in humans. Um, I look at learning and memory defects and synaptic connections in the Drosophila nervous system. Through our research, we hope to achieve a better understanding of the basic processes involved in nervous system development and function, but we also hope that our findings could eventually be translated into uh, potential therapeutics for some of the diseases that we study as well.